Hello, I'm Beard FM, and welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another one of these um, episodes. Now, if you've never seen them before, if you look down below, I've done two already, and they're just a bit of fun. I really enjoy doing them, and some people enjoy watching them. Um, and also, I'll make the save files available for you if you want to play them as well. Um, I, it's basically we get six billionaires to take over six teams and they have a race. And um, the first one I did, the six billionaires took over six non league teams, um, and it was just a race to the Premier League. Uh, the last one I did, six billionaires took over six European teams and six different European nations um, and they had a race to win the Champions League. This one is exactly the same, but possibly a little bit harder because we've got a Scandinavia and we're taking over six Scandinavian teams and seeing if one of them go in the Champions League. Personally, I don't know if they've got a good enough chances the Eastern Europeans. We'll wait and see, maybe. Um, also, if you are Scandinavian, just so you know, I needed six teams. If you go on Wikipedia, it says the, the true Scandinavia, Scandinavia is Norway, Denmark, and Sweden. Um, and then you can add, you can tag Finland onto that as well, apparently. And then you're really desperate. Wikipedia says Iceland and the Faroe Islands. So that's what we've done. We've got six playable leagues. All of them are in the game, apart from the Faroe Islands. But if you do download the save file, I have activated it, so you can play in their league. Um, the changes we've made as well, basically. The same as the other ones. The six teams have, have upgraded the stadium, have upgraded the facilities, they've got sugar daddy owners and they've got a billion quid in the bank. I've not changed the leagues at all apart from the Faroe Islands because it was just a semi-professional amateur league. So I've just made the other teams professional, that's it. So that this this team's basically still playing in a professional league at home. And um, don't know what they're gonna do. It's gonna be a right challenge. I'm excited to find out. Let's have a look at the teams. So the first team I'm going to show you is I'm rubbish. If you know me, you know you'll know I can't say anything. I don't know why I picked these teams. They're called HB. I'm going to call them HB, like the sauce, to the brown sauce. HB. That's it. Um, they're from the Faroe Islands. Got great kits. I love this home kit. Um, I've boosted the stadium, so it's a fifty thousand seat stadium. And um, they play in the that league there. Uh, there's only 10 teams in the league and like I said if you just quickly look on them I've just made them all professional that's it they've still got the little tiny grounds and all that jazz um, but at least they're playing in a professional league here's HB um, now what I've done as well with all the teams like I did with Eastern Europeans they might have a billion quid but money's going to run out if this experiment or race goes on for 20 years that money might run out so to keep them competitive with La Liga um, and the Premier League and the Bundesliga each team has um, an individual TV deal that guarantees them forever 100 million quid every year just keeps them competitive you know what I mean because um, you're not going to get that kind of money playing in the Faroe Island League are you? next up is KR that's what they're called in the league table if you can say that word fair play fair freaking play because wow I bet Welsh is easier to say than that um, obviously again with this one everyone's got a 50,000 seat stadium I've kept it very fair right along the board of all six teams um, and again they've all got great facilities I didn't show you the last one but trust me they've all got the same they've all got state-of-the-art training facilities uh, state-of-the-art youth facilities exceptional junior coaching 20s and all of them basically and um, so they're rich as well Billion squidlies in the bank but they have got all the, the um, original staff the original players as well um, that'll probably change obviously once this money starts coming in better managers best coaches better players hopefully and um, so yeah this is the team representing Iceland on to Finland and HJK I think they're called HJK yeah again not a sniff I'm saying that name what they say about Scandinavians is they're dead easy for them to pick up English don't think it works the other way not for me anyway um, but yeah these are a great club um, these, these next few clubs I've definitely heard of the last two I'll be honest with you I haven't um, but again same everything same staff all that but they're just wadded next move on to Denmark a place my wife went to and um, said it was amazing famous club Copenhagen I think this is isn't it obviously that we spell it differently than they do uh, but again recognize the manager um, again all the same facilities stadium money TV deal and um, I can see these doing okay though to be fair the next three teams I've got to be the favourites representing Norway I've chosen Rosenborg 
and uh, definitely know about these boys and yeah very famous old club won loads of trophies um, and it, again I think this this is going to be one of the teams that can do it and last but not least we've got the Swedish team uh, Malmo who look a bit like Lazio don't they when you look at the kit from here looks like Lazio so yeah again they're all the same they're all on equal footing they're just all playing obviously different football leagues of different standards maybe some not that far from others um, are they any better than Eastern Europeans I don't know again if you haven't seen the Eastern European one you'll find the link to that below you'll also find a link to the non-league one below you'll also find a link to my series in Manchester Central check that out um, it's quality Manchester's 13 that everyone's forgot about check it out right then so before we go forward, as I always do in these videos, I challenge you to have a bet. Some of you are really good at this. Just comment down below before you watch the rest of the video. Say which team, if you think any team will do it. The maximum I'm going to hold a day is 20 years. Um, and if no one's won it, then we'll just see what happens. But we'll find out. So yeah, let me know down below in the comments if you think one of these teams can win the Champions League. Not the Europa League, the Champions League. Can't wait to get going. Next time I see you, it's either going to be 2037 or we'll have a winner. Hello and welcome to 2027. Now, obviously, I've been going on holiday in five year gaps. That's the maximum you can do. And we've got a winner quicker than the Eastern Europeans did it. It's one of the big three that I thought it might be. I, I, I thought maybe if they did it, it'd take longer than this. I mean, all round the, European, uh, the Eastern Europeans won multiple Europa Leagues didn't they and one of the teams actually got to the final and lost the Champions League five years before the team who eventually won it um, so I'll be honest with you they've got one cup final but it's the big one it's the main one it's what this series is all about um, so looking at these teams some great managers at the teams I can only imagine it's been some great players again like I said I'll put the save files for the beginning and right now in the description so you can have a look at all this if you want you can have a play of it again if you want and um, what we're going to do now is we're going to find out if you bet in the right if you won or you lost um, and we're going to go through the teams in order from the worst to the best and have a look at them so got my little special pad here made on my notes so what we do is the main aim is obviously to win the champions league but to get him in some kind of order we're going to put in we're going to use domestic titles domestic fa cups um, and obviously European Cups but like I said we haven't got to bother about that so the last team the least successful team was KR the Icelandic team they won out of 10 years we've had 10 seasons they won 9 league titles um, and 6 Cups look who they've got as a manager Ronald Koeman hey in Iceland I love it um, let's have a look at the history quickly of the managers. So they've had these two fellas I don't know much about, but they've had Ronald Koeman for nine years, pretty much the entire ten years of us uh, holidaying. So yeah, fair play, Ronald. Uh, let's have a quick look at his squad. I'll arrange it by value. Got a lot of expensive players. I'm assuming some of these are going to be they're going to be regens, aren't they? Yeah, but bloody good regens. Very good Norwegian here. Fair play. I'll look at the next lad. He's a Russian. Wow. Wow. So if, it, if none of you guys download this save file for 2027 and try and bring a Champions League to bloody Iceland then, I'll be surprised. Look at him. He's bloody brilliant. Right, next guy. We'll have a look at the top three of each team. Yeah, he's okay. 25-year-old Brazilian. So here we are. And... To be fair, I mean that one team do as well as, as they have. They were nine games into their season right now. But it is Iceland. The Pepsi, whatever it's called, you can see it right there. It's 18th best league now in the world. Which I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have been at the start. So I think this, you know, one good team. Hopefully this one good team has also bought players from around in its own division. Helped them out a bit with all that kind of money. Um, but they've dominated it really. Next up, and I'm surprised by it. Is Malmo from Sweden one of the bigger ones? I thought these would do okay. I'll be honest, I didn't think. I didn't think. Yeah, I don't know. There's teams above this. I didn't. I didn't imagine it. But they are. They've come fifth 
fair play. Um, they won nine league titles and seven cups, and obviously haven't done anything in Europe. They've got Roberto Mancini though as the manager, who's now 62 years old, and bloody he's class, isn't he? How long has he been the manager? Seven years for most of it, to be fair. They had Luis Enrique for one year, and he left. Where's he gone? Oh, Spain. Bloody brilliant. Love it. Um, right. Let's have a look at the, the, just the top couple of players. Is it arranged by value? It is. The top player, Anthony Rizzi. 20 years old. Very good. Good central midfielder. They've got this fella. Striker. He's okay. Rapid. Very quick. He's alright. 24 year old from Iceland. Um, next up, they've got Fabi. Is it Fabiano? 24 year old again. There's a lot of good regens because these teams have got good facilities, but got a lot of these regens in with the money, haven't they? Fair play. Um, so yeah, Malmo. Done alright, but did do well enough. Next up, we're off to Finland and to HJK. And we've got Philip Koku as their manager. What was that? They're still rich. They played in the Champions League. They won nine league titles, eight cups. So they won one more than Malmo, um, and they won two more than KR from Iceland, all won nine league titles off. And the next three lot have won all theirs. So there you go. But yeah, Philip Koku as the manager. Let's have a look. He's all right, bit of a legend though. Look how many caps he's got. Um, are there any cracky managers? They've had Koku, Gus Hiddink. <laughs> Wasn't there very long. Didn't really do much. Uh, Cole Koo's been the main man, to be fair. Uh, let's have a look at the squad and just have a cheeky look at some of their best players. Top player is Jean Benoit, left back. He's all right, isn't he? Ivan, next guy. Central defender, looks all right. Can definitely head the ball. Uh, and then third, let's have a look. Marcus Lindahl. Again, he's all right. There's some good players. There always is, usually, on stuff like this. Um, so, yeah, HJK. They came third from last. So we've got three teams left to go. The next two are tied. We're going to start off with Rosenberg. We've got, look at the got the manager. Juventus' manager. Allegri is his name. Wow. <laughs> and I'm using these first because they're the so-called bigger club out of the two. And um, let's have a quick look at him. Bloody hell. Hey, the Rosenberg fans would love him. They won all their leagues, 10 titles. They won nine FA Cups. Um, fair bloody play to him. That's pretty decent. Um, let's have a look at their squad. Oh, he looks tasty. Only just from his value. Finland player. I like him a lot. He can't be. Look at that for a footballer. Where's he come from? Why did you sell him? He's played for Juventus. Right. Wow. <laughs> Went to Rosenberg, they sold him to Malmo, they sold I love this. Absolutely crazy. Great player though. And um, next guy, Alexander. He's a real player, 27 year old. Fair, fair play, never heard of him. Uh, and the next lad, another real player. Right. They've done well. But they didn't do well enough. At the end of it though, we'll look at all the leagues as well. I've only looked at one league so far. What are see all the reputations. Um, but yeah, they tied with the next team. And it's the Faroe Islands. HB, you like me were probably really hoping that they could do it, just because they did all right domestically. I was oh, fingers crossed. I really wanted these to be the team that came out of nowhere and won the Champions League. So you, you know now through process of elimination who's done it. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Uh, manager is Paul Poulsen. I don't know if he's ever left. I don't think he has. I think he's their original manager. No, he's not. No. He's been in it from the majority. Um, so look at the squad. How they? I mean, their lead's got to be easier on it. That's why they're up here, to be fair. But look, they've got players who are worth some money. Top players are Danishman Torben, who's freaking awesome. Look at him. What are you doing playing over here? I don't get it. Um, let's have a look at the next one. Andre Fidel again. They've got some good players, haven't they? He's Swedish. He's the next guy, Oliver Burke from Scotland. He's a real player. Fair enough. 
So yeah, they won. They won ten titles. They won nine cups. But we've only one winner. I wonder how many of you guessed it right. I did predict that they'd do well, and they've done well. And here we are with FC Copenhagen. They kept the same manager, unless he's gone and come back. Um, this dude used to be Wolves manager. I couldn't say his name when he was in England. He's all right, isn't he? Norwegian, fair play. I knew he was the manager at the start, and he's never left. Fair play to him. He's been he's been good, hasn't he? Look at that. Hey, eh? Champions League. Um, let's have a look at the history, though. So there you go. They won the Champions League. They also won the European Super Cup, and they also went on and won the FIFA World Club Cup, World Champions. It was a couple of years ago. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Let's have a look at this squad, though. Why do I do that? It was already arranged. I don't. I don't know what to say. Apart from, wow. Look at his stats. He's one of the greatest defenders the world has ever seen. That is amazing. How are these keeping these players away from the United and Manchester Cities? Next player, striker from. Oh wow. This this is this is even better than the. I'm sure it is than the Eastern Europeans. If you could get some money together and handpick some of these players from these teams, wow, you, you just never get beaten. Uh, I'm sure he's a real player in the area, is he? Kai, uh, but he's a good player. Let's have another one. Oh, look who else they've got. What? They bought him off Milan for 53 million quid. Wow. They've got some good players there. Ruben Neves. Alban Lafont. They've got the two, the two best Wonder Kid goalkeepers in the same team. Isco as well. Always pops up Isco. He might be 35. He's still freaking awesome. Wowzers. Anyway. Let's have a look at when they won the Champions League. So here we are in the history, and as you can see, it was a couple of years ago. And they beat Chelsea in the final in 24-25, <laughs> uh, which is crazy. Really, really good. Because you see everyone else, Paris Saint-Germain in it, Real Madrid, Barcelona. Chelsea have won two as well. So Chelsea are obviously a good team on this database. Um, but yeah, apart from that, no one got into another final. No one got a sniff anywhere near uh, a Europa League final either. So that was disappointing, especially when you see some of the plays they've got. They've definitely got players that can compete um, but yeah the winner is FC Copenhagen so here's the competition list of the leagues and the Premier League is the best league apparently followed by Spain Italy France Germany and then we've got Norway so I've done nothing to the leagues nothing and um, this is pure them I mean, one good team in that league has really helped the rest of the league I wonder if that's just players filtering out good players who aren't good enough filtering out I mean, I can't bother looking into it. If you want to yourself, look into it and let me know in the comments at another time. Um, but it is interesting how that's happened. Norway are good. Denmark, uh, eighth best team. Got Sweden up here. Where, they got the, there's Iceland. Where's the Faroe Island League? Uh, Faroe Islands, 33rd in the world. Around League One level. I mean, I can pretty say, I can safely say. That's probably the biggest improvement, isn't it? Now we'll have a look at the international rankings because if one team in the league's improved their league system, surely it's improved the nationals as well, maybe. Because it's generating players, isn't it? And Denmark are ninth. Fair enough, let's have a look. Anyone else? Maybe just Denmark, got Norway down here, Iceland as well. Maybe not as much. It's been very interesting and hope you've enjoyed it. So thanks for joining me. Again, it's just a bit of fun, this. Um, just a bit against yourself. And also, it's just, I like making databases. A lot of people out there don't want to know how I do it. I don't want to do it. Um, and you can just get that safe file, put it in your game, and look at some of the players you've got here. Yeah, you can have some real fun. Um, because it's getting to that time of year, and it went. I'm, I'm bored of playing Premier League or Bundesliga. I've been to America. I get bored. I like something different. So this is for the people who like something different. And, and like a bit of fun, a bit of a fantasy element to it. So... Congratulations if you guessed FC Copenhagen. You don't win a prize, unfortunately. Um, but if you did enjoy taking part and you enjoyed watching it, do me a favour, smash the like button. If you're new, feel free to subscribe. Uh, and don't forget to check out my series. It's a good series, I think. My mum says it's good. I mean, why would my mum lie to me? Do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, thanks for joining me. I've been booed. You've been great. I'll see you next time.